and so began our journey as we set sail into East Tennessee in the search for bluegrass music. Here in the historical Jonesboro region, history and culture remain still alive, and it's only eight miles from Johnson City. So I'm here in the toilet, um, which as you can see, that's that wall. This is the door. This is the wall facing the door. And this is the mirror behind me. Um, so the proportions are quite small um, here in Jonesboro. But maybe that's just the way things. It's a petite little town, and maybe this is just part of the historical aspect of it. However, our quest for bluegrass took us further than Jonesboro or Johnson City, and we ended up in Hilton's, Virginia, to listen to Adam Staffy and the Boxcars. <laughs> This is something that if the power goes out, you still can play, you know, so it's, it's, it's something that I feel like is, in my case, I started getting into it back in the 70s, and so it was just handed down, you know, it's, it's, it's really an oral tradition because I don't play by music and none of the guys in our group plays by music, it's all just by listening, it's like Irish music, I think a lot of times folks just learn it from people in their area. and so many things and, and with with technology as we were speaking a moment ago you can track down a lot of things and a lot of a lot of the old songs and get new ideas you know and new directions that people take these old songs that you may hear a local group playing a song a certain way and then when you start digging around it's like oh well that's the original version there and that's cool and then you can blend it all together <laughs> Evening. This is where I first really was was had my first experiences with bluegrass and old time music, and so it made me want to play. I, I started hearing it every weekend. I'd come up with my grandfather. Oh, 